What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Sneakerhead213. Before I move forward, please hit that like button, comment down below your ideas of this video after watching it, and please hit that notification bell to stay up to date with my latest contents. Today, as you can see from the title, we are doing a review on the website called Kicks Crew. Kicks Crew is a shoe online retailer store that is out in Hong Kong, China. Um, it first came on my radar after some subscribers uh, privately inboxed me on doing a review and checking to see if these shoes are legit. So the way I'm going to do this process is I will do a full review on the shoe. After the review, I will show you some things that either hint that the shoe is real or fake. Um, and also I will pretty much tell you whether the whole website is reliable or not reliable. So let's get started. When these shoes came, um, they pretty much came via UPS, so they do ship UPS services through UPS services. The wrapping paper that they used to keep this whole box, um, you know, closed shut and protected was like a seaweed type colored wrapping paper. I had never seen it before, but it was very, very effective. Um, and I like the, the way they packaged the shoes. As you can see, they package in a regular brown shipping box. You open up the lid inside. And the first thing you're hit with is a sticker of these, which I already have on my door. I put a lot of uh, stickers on my uh, other room where I used to film also as well. And um, so yeah, this is the website name. There's their Instagram. So follow them. And it came with a like glass cleaner wipe. So that's pretty cool. And then this is pretty much the top of the box. It has a like metallic type red there and it is in Chinese lettering and I did research and that just um, translates to the number 12 and then the color on the background is like a pinkish creamish color very light in color I like the color though to be honest on this side it's pretty much blank on here you see the metallic red air, air Jordan there on this side is blank as well and today we are doing the review on the Air Jordan 12 Retro CNY which stands for Chinese New Year and it is a size 9.5 you see the Jumpman there and then you see the ring hole here and it has the sticker still protecting it I'm gonna leave that there for purposes of me reselling on here you see the Jumpman there and metallic red all right, let's get started. So when you open up the lid, you see it says right here, quality inspired by the greatest player ever. The inner lining of the lid is all red, which I really like. Um, it really makes for a really unique um, unboxing experience and packaging experience. Put that lid over there. The wrapping paper that they use, there's actually two. There's one that's wrapped around the shoes and then one used for the outer um, lining. And this is the one that's used for the outer um, and it translates to the number 12 and it is in a metallic gold which is very nice and it's very thin too so I'll be careful with that here's the other layer and then you finally get to the shoes with this paper is very very like glossy and thick and here they are guys Air Jordan 12 retro Chinese New Year looks very similar to the taxi 12s very very similar i like them a lot i'm a fan of very similar um og colorways so i had to get these it was a no-brainer the shipping cost on this website is very very high it ranges from 30 to 50 bucks depending on your location and what nation you live and so just keep an um, eye out on that if you do decide to buy from this website after hearing whether it's legit or not but I just wanted to throw that out there because that kind of surprised me how expensive the shipping is but there are good deals on there guys there are really good deals out there on that website for the price so these retail for two 20 on the website no they retailed for 170 on the website after shipping it was 220 i mean 210 sorry and uh so the shipping cost was a little bit discouraging but i really like this shoe and i couldn't find it any cheaper than that in anywhere in u.s soil i'm just playing 
Um, and so I decided to get them from that shoe retailer after doing a bit of research. Um, but talking about the shoe, the first thing you notice is this silhouette looks very similar and the colorway looks very similar to the Taxi 12s. But um, this was a release that dropped back on January 28th of 2017, so earlier this year, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong, but when I was doing research, it said that it was January 28th and it was to celebrate the Chinese New Year. Uh, one of the first things you notice that's different is this side panel here or this mud guard, whatever you want to call it. It's in black and it has this textured detail all out throughout the mud guard. And that is more of like a texture that, you know, is used to simulate or represent the Chinese woven baskets. Um, so that was very dope. That was something very different that Jordan did. Right here you see the regular like bubbling to kind of look like reptile scales or snake scales, whatever you want to call it. And then right here, this is used to simulate um, bamboo wood, which this isn't real bamboo. This is more of like just regular Jordan plastic material. And it says jump man there, but I like that little hint of, you know, creating that bamboo wood effect. Um, and then you also see it here where the shoelaces go on these holders right here. You see the jump man's there and then it has like that bamboo grain on it. On this side you see it very well, the bamboo grain on there. And then you see some more of it right here along the mud guard. You see some more of that texture detail there and some more of that like reptilia type scales there, whatever you want to call it. On the tongue is my favorite part of the shoe that it's uh, embroidered in the number 12 in Chinese. It's in black and white embroidery. And then you see the two, three for the number 23, Jordan's player number. And then the laces, the aglets are pretty much simulating the Chinese bamboo, very nice. The shoelaces are kind of cheap material. I feel like if you play in these shoes, cause these are supposed to, you know, kind of motivate people to want to play basketball. Um, at least it does to me. Um, these, when you step on them, they're going to rip very easily. That's the only turn off of the shoe. I felt like the shoelace, this could have been a lot better. Um, but, you know, to each their own. The whole entire, I mean, the entire part of this white upper here is 3M reflective material. It looks very, very nice um, at night when, you know, lights hit it or when you flash it with the camera. It looks really, really nice. Um, so that's a really nice detail and it is leather material. It's like a leather slash 3M type material feel. It looks very nice. Has a classic, um, you know, look to it. On the back here, on the pull tab, it says Jordan Jumpman greatest, uh, what does it say? Inspired by the um, greatest player ever, quality inspired by the greatest player ever. And it has more of that like textured uh, Chinese woven basket um, patterning there. And it is leather. You see the red 23 there, which I really like that they kept it red. Um, and then the inner lining of the shoe is hard to get, but um, it is like a nylon black material. And the insole is leather black. It's completely black and it says the number 12 there, which is very nice. So I like that a lot. And then finally getting to the midsole of the shoe. Um, it's black with white back here same thing on this side and then the outsole guys is your regular Jordan 12 outsole with these translucent um, you know sections back here um, here near the toe box you see some of that uh, like textured uh, Chinese woven baskets through the translucent um, gum there and then as well here towards the heel and then you also see that notorious uh, carbon fiber there it's in yellow and black very nice. You see the red 23 there and the red jump man there. So it all all in all these colors really look nice. I like how they complement each other. They look really good. Um here is the other shoe guys. Check it out. Check this out. Looks very nice. Very dope. So the big question of the day is kicks crew legit? Well, let's take a look at a few things. So when looking at the shoe, one of the things that a lot of fake websites and a lot of fake manufacturers of Jordan does is on these things, on these uh, side Jumpman tags here, whatever you want to call them, 
these tend to be really high like they will be like all the way up here and go way down in here so that's a good sign this isn't very thick it's not really uh you know really you know it's poking out there really catching your attention this one as well is very nice as you can see it starts here and it goes all the way there so that looks consistent you're looking for consistency and then second of all you check the other one the other one looks very similar as well this one looks similar as well and lastly well not lastly but another thing look for the, look at the stitching if the stitching is off or if it seems like you know the machine jumped that's a tall tail sign that um, they're pretty much using um, machines that are not from you know Jordan production warehouses or like you know they're pretty much fake but the stitching looks really really good on these um, another thing right here the stitching along the mud guard usually is very off like it will just look terrible it's off it's completely not aligned very well like these are so these look very good let's check the other one guys Stitching looks good on the white 3M upper. Let me check this side of it. Looks good. All right, now let's check the side panels. The side panels look good. Mud guard on this side. Mud guard looks good. Yep. So the stitching looks really consistent. On the back, let's check the stitching as well. Looks very very nice. Doesn't look off or anything. No red flag so far. So, so far everything looked good. The tongues are the next part that I recommend. The tongues is a really good sign in spotting fakes. So, as you can see, the tongues both are very consistent. So they're centered well. The, one of them is not higher than the other. The length of the tongues is even. The embroidery work is clean. The size of the lettering on the embroidery work is very nice and even. The color of it is even. The thickness is even. Um, it lo all looks good. All looks good. And now look at the back of the tongues, guys. We'll look at the back of the tongues. That's another tall tail sign. Tail tail. Tail tail sign. Sorry, guys. Tell tail. So here it is, guys. Oh my god. Looks clean. One of the things that you guys got to look out for is the lining up here. Sometimes if it's sloppy, like wavy, like, you know, the leather material here transitioning over to the nylon material. If it's wavy or uneven, that's a really um, good sign that these are fake. But it looks really, really good. I mean, it looks legit. And then lastly, another thing that I personally use to spot fakes is smell the shoe. As ridiculous as it looks or as it sounds, smelling the shoe. Um, it's a really tall tail sign, so let's just see. It smells pretty good, to be honest. Yep, smells right. So, um, one of the smells that you're looking for is, have you ever owned the Air Jordan 1? That glue smell that some of the Jordan warehouses use, that is the smell that you're looking for, and this is obviously a legit pair, in my opinion. Um, just from the smell, even the smell of the out, so if you can... If you smell the outsole, it has like a rubber, gluish, um, brand new smell. I don't know. I don't know how to put it into words, but those Jordan fanatics out there know what I'm talking about. Um, so these are, in my opinion, legit. Um, based on how I check shoes, they're legit in my book. Um, these, t when you order them through Kicks Crew, come with this seal. And it says, returns invalid if seal is broken. So I'm going to keep the seal intact because... I did sell these already, I forgot to mention that, um, but it's a good thing I mentioned it now since you know the website is going to be legit in my personal views. Uh, here is another tag that says it in like, I believe Chinese lettering. Uh, so yeah, these are legit. Um, Kicks Crew is legit in my book. Um, if you want, if you have a little bit of doubts after watching this, do some research as I did. Of course, when I do a website review, I'm not going to be, you know, doing reviews on websites that are clearly legit. Like, you can click on some websites out there and know they're clearly legit. I mean, it doesn't take that much common sense to realize when a website is fake. But um, with this one, I was on the fence, so I did a little bit of research, decided to do my own, and I'd say they're legit. They are very legit. They accept returns. A website that's fake would not accept returns. 
I don't know many out there that would. Um, so they do accept returns if you regret the shoes or just don't like whatever on the shoe. So these sold. So shout out to my customer out in California for these. And uh, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys want any Jordan 11s that I mentioned on my previous video. And let's give that thumbnail. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.